we're back so gonna see some repeat here because uh, the idiot on the other end of uh, this keyboard and mouse here so when you close something out you've been working on for thank goodness only a half hour not an hour and it asked you want to save and you hit no guess what <laughs> yeah that was I just shook my head but I did remember to add the colorful stuff in so yeah I got this far down so I I got to thinking in fact I need to go on the description um, of that YouTube video I uploaded it from Twitch yesterday and <clears throat> actually get the link to this i3d mapping explorer I think if you just actually type in i3d map exporter I think it'll actually bring this guy's yeah this Sean Latimer if I'm saying that correctly so I'll try to get that on the description for yesterday I don't know how long this this uh, stream will go so I know last Friday I started streaming and got my uh, infamous phone call so I had to jump off and I I think I'd literally just hit start stream so I will try to at least get that description or uh, link into the description for yesterday's if not today as well um, so yeah so what I'm doing is I exported it copied it over to a new notepad and just pasted it all over here and I'm just gonna go through and just use to get rid of the ones I don't need rather than copy paste copy paste I mean and some of these I know but for example if I had control F and I don't see it in the document then I know I can get rid of it I'm pretty sure that like the cable 4 is not in there but it doesn't hurt to check them all now clear areas I don't need I just need the actual <clears throat> start with height and so on um, so I don't need this level areas as well I just need the actual level area I try to do is actually put a line in between every every point where I get done here so I'm not getting lost I don't know what it is there's something in my room I guess I I'm fine though I hit that record button or start stream button and all of a sudden I sneeze so I'm all stuffed up for a bit test areas I don't think I need that I think I just have yeah it's just the actual test areas so get rid of that we do need that though update areas I don't think I think I just need to start in the end yep so we can get rid of that pretty sure that collisions Good. I don't think there's any lights. I think just a section. Hey there, plugger. So yeah, if you uh, do a bunch of work like that, don't forget to hit save. <laughs> that was pretty dumb. I couldn't believe I did it. As soon as I did it, I knew what I did. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm pretty sure the low lights is used. All these point lights, I'm pretty sure that we're good there. I do need the high. that one but I'm sure the other ones I do because these are all actual lights yeah so I don't need that yeah and I I need to look <clears throat> there's probably programs out there that actually automatically back things up but man I can only imagine the nightmare that can be as well so that section is good But I think it is a lot better just to do what I'm doing here rather than copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. I think it's a little bit old. 
So we know we need that emitter, we know we need that emitter, we need that, we need that. Unload smoke emitter, I'm pretty sure that one as well. Oh, actually it's not finding it. Unload smoke emitter too. Oh, I never added that in. <coughs> that was what I was going to do. Yeah, and on that note, if any of you have, uh, I have a Furmanure building on uh, Farmer Boys. I had to update that. GTX sent me a message. Actually, like midnight. It's kind of crazy. Uh, he updated his script because the Giants update broke that script. So this I need to actually look at. Um, I'm going to pull up. That's 22. And actually, I don't know if that changed. I don't even know if I have the update, to tell you the truth. I haven't even opened up Steam to make sure I even have the update. But I need to look at Placeable. And it's not going to be. I'm trying to think what it's going to be. Oh, I can actually look, I guess. Duh. Um... Let's look at trigger. Oh, I got match whole word only. Control home. Find next. Find next. I guess I'll scroll. This will take forever if I don't. <clears throat> so, selling station. I need to look in here. Control C. Control F. Animation, yeah, 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 yeah. So animation nodes. Production effect nodes, that's what I want. I want effect nodes. Yep, there's effect nodes, okay. So it should be the same. For the fill type, if I grab these here, selling station, there's the fill type. I think it would go in there. <coughs> I'm assuming I'd want it in the onload trigger. Effect nodes. Where are we starting at here? Fill type categories. Station name, loading station. Selling station node. There's the node. I think the stone. I'm trying to think what the stone placeable is called. I think that one has that data placeables lizard selling points debris crusher. So it's just underneath the onload trigger. 
Okay. Don't ask me how I remembered it was in there. Isn't that crazy? I I remember the the dumb stuff. I think Dogface had actually told me about this, but yeah, how I remember it, I have no idea. Just kind of crazy. Okay, so there is what I want. I would have never remembered this. I don't want smoke chimney though. I want something different. Where is effects? Smoke chimney effects. Smoke chimney. Here's the cleaning dust. That's what I want. Control C. Paste that in there, and then I want diesel smoke emitter. I want the on load smoke emitter too. Pretty sure that's what it is. <clears throat> I have not done this before. I think this will look kind of cool if it does what I'm thinking. Um, silo. Unloading station. It's actually effects. Hey there, Charlotte. How you doing today? I'm doing good, thank you. F, yeah. So that's what I'm looking for. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. So, control F. Next. So we've got that, 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 that. Production point. I don't think that's being used anywhere. an actual node put a space there pretty sure the player trigger is being used you do match whole word only ooh that ain't good better go get your rapid test pretty bad when it's the first thing everyone always thinks of right Info trigger. I think silo is being used. Actually, silo is not. That's a different silo. I need silos. Loading stations. I'm still not sure about this one. Oh, that's. I mean, being sick, being sick. COVID is COVID, but yeah, well, at least that you don't have that because that takes on a whole nother issue, right? So I want to look. Yeah, I got the stomach flu a couple months ago and that kicked my butt. Production points, oil plant. I want to look at something here. <coughs> so storage. Yeah, it's just selling stations, so I don't think it matters. I've never messed with this, so it's a little bit concerning to me that I don't know. Selling station, yeah, it's just selling station. 010. Yeah, so. Yeah, I bet not. Makes for a rough day. Feel for you. So I think that's just basically acting like you're. I don't really get that node, but we'll just use loading stations. Loading stations and unloading stations, right? Okay, so loading stations will stay. that pretty sure that I need that I 
discharge node I'm sure I'll need. That's odd that the discharge effect. Hmm. Why is there a dis? Oh, it's probably pipe. It's probably apparent. I would have sworn that that would be in there. Silo, onloading. Where did it get that from then? Discharge effect right there. Yeah, okay. That's why. Okay. I was a little concerned there for a minute. It's, it is the parent. Uh, so I don't need that line. Pretty sure this one will be used. Yep. Pipe effect smoke. Yep. So I need that. Loading station one. I probably do not need. Loading trigger. Need that. Need that. Need that. Probably not that. Loading triggers to match over and only. I need that, need that, that, that. Probably not that. Yeah, actually I do on loading station. Okay, I need that. Bail trigger. Don't need the parent. This is much faster though. I'm almost done already. Don't need that line. Liquid fuel storage. I don't think I use storage. I put that in there. But it doesn't use that in 22. I don't know why I was thinking that you had to have a storage node. So, I mean, that's... I'd be curious now to see. I'm going to do it quick. Probably not as much as I think. It's going to be a lot of lines that I'm taking out, which I think that's another issue. Sometimes the uh, um, servers don't like an XML that are too many lines. So if I take this, Control C, New, Control V, File, Save As. I'll just go Desktop. Save it as one. I'm gonna minimize that. Don't need that anymore. We're gonna open this mapping 3D exporter. I don't know why that file comes up either. I, I tried to search for that and I couldn't really find anything. Export copy to clipboard. New paste file. Save as. So this one is 265 lines. That. I don't know where I saved it to. This one's only 94. That's pretty crazy. So this file edited then is 4.92 kilobytes. I don't understand why size on disk. Where did I put the other one at? Well, what the... File, save as. Oh, I saved it inside the mod. Awesome. Just what I need, right? So this one's 13.9. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, again, you're not talking about massive so file size, but look at the difference. It's three times the, which I guess makes sense because of all the lines. But anyway, that's why I do all that little stuff. I I actually, there is a review on uh, on the liquid fertilizer seed mod, and that was one of the raves the guy went on about is the download size. It's pretty crazy. 
uh, or is I haven't even really tried to I guess compare much but yeah if you search that mod um, yeah 2.44 megabyte <laughs> so if you look at let's just do uh, fertilizer just to see what else is on there um, like just these silos right here for example look at that it's insane yeah and I mean I'm gonna be honest I and he mentions that in the video I mean I'm not trying to fool anyone here if you look at this mod I need to do a better job of making my own buildings but it's just to so time consuming I mean this here is the I think this is the, is the dairy building so don't get me wrong that's why I'm literally linking all this stuff like this building is using all data files these silos are all data files but what's a little bit unique is these decals I'm actually pulling them in as well I made the decal but the actual image file like if we look at that image file um, visuals let's go digest state tank yeah here we go right there the digest tape digest tape tank decal if we look here I'm actually pulling it from the HUD file um, and that saves again it's it's not a huge file but every time you do that you're saving so when you look at a lot of the stuff I edit for example if we edit with notepad look at all these dollar signs data 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 um, very few in fact I need to fix this Hmm. Good thing I looked in here. Yeah, that's not good. So let me get out of here. Um, in fact, what was that? That was a texture file. It's easier just to do this. Let's go. Edit with Notepad. It is the actual cable normal. I need to fix that. So the quickest way to do that actually is to find one of the cables float oh where are you at cable yeah and so I don't know yeah council test so that's that's actually right I wonder if it used have duplicate cable files I bet it's that cable there is where it's coming from water there we go cable that normal map there I bet is on the wrong yeah yes 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 so silence diesel and hmm interesting I don't see it in there so how in the world did this one normal map end okay yeah that one's wrong as well so I need to actually copy that file over um OneDrive uh, where you at console test that guy textures copy there come back to here go to normal map okay okay oh man it even yeah because it was even using the wrong uh, shader I believe okay let's save go back to the front edit now we have All dollar signs, and we have actually textures, 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 and then shader. So 
somewhere in here. Yeah, shaders, building shader. Okay. Yeah, whenever I don't have any of these dollar signs, and then you don't want to see a bunch of dot dots, because when you see a dot dot slash, that means it's going up a folder. That is very bad, because it'll show up on your computer, but when it gets to, say, Charlotte's computer, not going to work, because it's going to be looking for my computer, or a folder on their, com on their computer. Okay, so that's good. Fix that disaster by accident. <laughs> so I'm going to save this. Seemed like there was something else I needed to do, but I'm just for the heck of it here. Let's close this all out. Icon. I need to do a new one of those. So let's go. First of all, go into game settings because I was doing a test. I had to update that one mod. Um, files. Cancel test. So I think I've showed this before on my streams or YouTube videos, but this is my mod folder selector. I just open the game settings and change the mod folder there. You just need to hit directory or active true and then set your directory. And that file, so what I always try to do is I have a shortcut on my desktop. I did that icon, I just copied the actual icon file. But it has direct link to my data, which shortcut. Then I have a shortcut to game settings and a game shortcut to my log. And these files, I believe, are where your game saves are. So typically it would be documents, my games, farming simulator 22. And these are all your game saves. And when you scroll down you have your game settings and your logs right there. I just literally copy a shortcut into there. That way I can quickly access and like I said that becomes my um, mod folder selector. I, I haven't messed with Dodgenet's latest one. I, I like the old ones where it was a simple click here and there. I, I don't like all the other settings and stuff. So yeah. And then this is just actually texture t test your textures. So like if you, for example, want to see if your textures have any issues or if you have, and now the textures are got different formats, but for example, on that normal file, if I want to look at it, um, console, console, where are you at? There we are. So if I go into textures and I take um, cable normal and pull it into this WTV my biggest thing, I don't really care about what it looks like and everything. I want to look at the format, which is a DTX one, and I want to see that it has mitmaps. So if it was 1-1, one, one, it wouldn't have mitmaps, so it wouldn't it wouldn't go through the test runner correctly. It needs to be one slash and then more than one. Yeah, let me rephrase that. They are DTX. They're DDSs. DTXs. But now... For example, this diffuse, and I didn't make this one with the formatter. Yeah, see how it's a DX10? Um, and this won't even recognize, but what it counts is it has a mitmap 1.8. Um, so they have a image converter. So I have it saved. You can download this off of uh, GDN, Giants Developer Network but in here I have all this stuff so I have the icon generator which I'm gonna go ahead and while I'm thinking of this I'm gonna pull this mod in before I rattle on and completely forget what I'm doing I'm gonna copy it um FS22 get rid of that so there's a generator and then there is a test runner that that'll look for any issues in your mod and then there's this texture tool so basically you can pull a, a PNG in here pull it into the texture tool and it'll convert it to what it needs to be um, I need to do some more digging on this because there's other issues that are going on like you can convert a PNG right in Giant Setter. Like if you try to bring a PNG into any of these for an image like an albedo, 
it'll convert it to a DDS, but it doesn't add the MIT maps, so it's like pointless. But yeah, for some reason now they've got this. Um, what did I say it was? That ten. I've already got rid of that. In fact, here's some of the stuff I actually converted already. So beacon, I pulled it out. Here's the silo panels normal. So I pulled into there. You know, that's just the DTX one because it's nothing special. But the decal has a opacity to it. So that's where this DTX 10 comes in. Yeah, I literally you just take this and drop it into the texture tool, EXE, and it'll convert it to a DDS. And we'll find out when I get kicked back. It hasn't made it into testing yet. It's still impending on my latest submission. So, as I was doing, let me get this set up and get us... Do you want to select the log file? Yes. What happened? Oh, I wonder if they need... I have an error in my XML file. Okay, what did I break? Does not like something in that line. Hmm? Okay. That's interesting. Ah, right there it is. No, I did not hit it. It's odd that there's not space in there, but... Let's see what it says this time. Maybe I'll try to run the game first and see... Yeah, I don't get what's the column. Line 133, column 108. I don't even know what column is. Do you know what column is? I almost wonder if I need to update this. I haven't even been on their website. Game directory. That's good. That's good. Air wall. Harsing XML file. Not well formed. I wonder if it's my i3D. Now that wouldn't make any sense. It's on which space in the line character it is. Okay. So it's saying... So it's saying it's the 108th character? Does that make sense? Is that what you're saying? All 
Ironically, it has a check or it has a green. It does have a little green mark there. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Look at the bottom of the notepad. Ah, okay. There you go. It's 133 column. Thank you very much. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so it's literally telling me column 108. 108. It's not liking about this. Or if they change how parameters work now. That's going to stink. Hmm. Fill type silage. Draw the silage. Chap the silage. I don't really know why it's complaining about that. I don't see an issue. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. I remember I moved that, but guess what I didn't do? That's funny. Okay. <laughs> I never updated this. So that line was wrong. Remember I moved that line? I'd have to go way back. I almost need rewind. Let's try this. Copy here. Remember I had that was missing that space. There, that's what it was. So I don't know if you remember, but I never brought the file back over. So that's what it was. It was. I don't have it open now. Oh, I'm gonna have to go. But that's what it was. There was a. I was missing a space in that character there. All right, guys. Sorry, I got to jump off here. So that's what it was. Thanks for the help, though, Charlotte. That's good to know. That's nice to know, actually. Well, I'll catch you guys later.